Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.3 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we focus on Jeff Dunham at the Planet Hollywood Las Vegas with his brand new show, Not Playing With A Full Deck. You see, Jeff Dunham is a five-star performer I've admired for many years. He's a brilliant comedian with impeccable timing and a beautifully crafted act. I last saw him at the Mirage on tour where he killed with his 90-minute polished, brilliant and totally unique show. Tonight I got to enjoy the brand new show, Not Playing With A Full Deck, in concert at Planet Hollywood. The problem was... He wasn't playing with a full script. Here's the thing. When I see a show on Broadway in the West End or in Las Vegas, $100 plus a ticket, I don't expect to watch a rehearsal. Despite Jeff's brilliance, he spent 30 minutes of tonight's show reading a script for Batum, testing material for his upcoming HBO TV special. I fully get that performers have to work in new material, but in front of a sellout 1,000 people crowd in Las Vegas with the most popular act, Ahmed, really shameful. I totally get why Ahmed wants to kill him. Also, advertising your wife's health and cookie website for five minutes and then doing a 10 minute advert for your merchandise and puppets. Has it come to this? For the love of God, we love you. Be amazing. It should be all killer and no filler, Jeff. Vegas confuses me. It has the best talent on earth, but there seems to be a contempt for audiences by some performers. Nowhere else on earth could you rehearse a HBO show as he told us live with a piece of paper in your hand during a headline performance. Never taking your eyes off the page for nearly 30 minutes. It's not good enough. For that, Jeff, you've gone from five-star headliner at Planet Hollywood to embarrassing two-star insult to your crowd. I've seen so many amazing headline shows this year. Frank the Man, Suzanne Sizzles, Donnie and Marie, Chris Angel Believe, Frederick De Silva and more. But this was a joke. A joke that took 35 minutes longer than it should have for his own indulgence. The mitigation is that it was free, he told us. That doesn't wash with me in Las Vegas. Rehearse in your own time, not mine. I so want to love Jeff Dunham. He's so brilliantly talented, warm and well rehearsed, but tonight felt like I was at a dress rehearsal and watching him learn his show in real time. It started at 7.15, not 7. Why? This is Vegas. Okay, what do I know? I'm old fashioned, I'm English and probably lacking in irony and humour. But for me, if you're charging $100 plus a ticket, you have to deliver a show, not a rehearsal of a show. A show that was a sellout where you were charging big money to hundreds and hundreds of people. That's the biggest and most offensive insult to a huge sellout crowd, in my view. I'm done. Good luck, Jeff. You're a genius, but tonight you missed the point of why you're a Las Vegas headliner. You can get tickets by Googling Jeff Dunham, Las Vegas at Planet Hollywood. Two stars, unfortunately, for a five-star performer. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.3 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!